to this massive, epic, automated e-commerce training. We already have 33 likes on there, already people joining, so thank you. Oh my God, we have a lot of comments on here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody for joining. Welcome to this epic, epic training. We're going to be five days together here, all live, all for free. I'm here, I'm Rafael, this is me. So as you can see, it's the real me. It's not some fake assistant or anything like that. So I'm super excited for you. Drop me down in the comments below where you're from. Where are you watching this? Is it morning, your time? Is it afternoon? Is it evening? What time is it over there? We're all in different time zones, so many different people. We have 50 people already watching, 36 likes. Thank you, thank you so much for the love down there, guys. Let me know, absolutely everybody that's watching, just dropped it down. Where are you from? Where are you watching from? Where are you if you're in California, New York, I know we're all in different situations now. We're all pretty much locked down, quarantined at home. Over 100 people already. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Welcome to this epic training. We're going to learn here. You can pay for it thousands of dollars outside of this training. But we're all going to give it to you for free. Because information should be free for you to learn, for you to take it to the next level, for you to learn. Poland, London, NYC, let's go. It's 3 a.m. here. Okay, I don't know. I don't know where you are, but, oh, the, the glasses are showing the screen. Sorry, guys, these are blue light blocking glasses. So they are glasses that protect against blue light. I'm sorry if it bothers you, but I need it because if not, my eyes get tired. Awesome, 5 p.m., oh, we are, oh, wow. Awesome, awesome, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, I'm super pumped for this. Comment after comment after comment after comment. This epic, guys. So I want to introduce it to you one of my big friends, Tony Tovar, he is extremely successful in multiple businesses. He was actually my own student, got an e-commerce business running, did extremely well with that business and multiple other business and also helping people, helping other people grow their businesses and just knows a lot. He has a lot of experience, has a lot of experience teaching as well. Is it okay with you guys if I bring him over in the training? It's not only me. You're not going to get it only from one guy. You're going to get it from two experts that are going to teach you absolutely everything that you need drop me a yes or bring tony tony or whatever you want down in the comments if you want me to bring tony tober you're going to absolutely love love this guy so drop me a yes and i see so many people we already have like 150 people this is amazing thank you guys give yourselves a big applause this is awesome so let me know if i should bring tony and i'm going to bring him up right now and we'll get started with this epic epic training we're an international family guys this is literally a family i want to make it the best best family on youtube to learn e-commerce bring it yes okay they're asking for you tony are you ready ready oh click to view 99 comments guys thank you so much for the love 60 likes bring him on whoa <laughs> we're getting like 20 comments per minute this is amazing okay so i'm gonna bring on tony or you guys are excited Welcome. Okay, there we go. Tony, you are on. Say a little bit of Yo. hello to the people here watching. Yo, what is up, people? Can I get a hoorah? <laughs> Man, this is exciting, dude. I'm so glad that we got people from all over the world. London? That's like crazy. I can't even like imagine. Like, well, one, I've never been there, but two, I'm just like, oh, it's so mind blowing that we can get a ton of people in one place at one time. And the best part of it is that, I, I, dude, I'm so excited for this training because people pay for this stuff and you're about to share it completely free, man. I'm super, super, super pumped. It's all I can't see. Guys. It's, it's um, the only, the only, the only problem is I'm super sad because I can't see the comments and stuff. Oh, but man, wait, I'm, wait, I'm, I'm go on. Uh, ah, wait, wait, wait. I'll show you the link. Wait, guys, I'm going to send uh, Tony a link. You should have it. Sorry about that. Oops. <laughs> no, no worries. Oops, oops, oops. Okay. I'm all like, oh, I want to see people too. <laughs> I'll send it to you. Oh, this is going to be so fun. Oh, this is going to be so good. I'm so excited for this, man. I'll send it to you on Facebook so you have it. Day one. Awesome. Just got it. Wow, we have so many people. Thank you guys for showing up. Thank you guys for being hey. on. Here. We're going to teach you absolutely everything. So let's go. We're already five minutes in, so everybody that's going to show up is going to show up. Thank you again, Tony, for being on here, teaching everything that you know. This is going to be next next level. So I'm going to go into yep. my screen. I'm going to start sharing my screen, start sharing the slides that I prepared for you. It took me 
a lot of time to prepare this. So it's going to be really exciting, really helpful for you guys. So let's go. Okay. Can you guys see my screen? Can you just comment a yes or a one down below if you can see my screen properly? Automated e-commerce, find the right products, learn the art of smart marketing, and automate your Shopify business to seven figures. Let's go. Hello, I I might be a little delayed, man, but I, I like I'm going to literally be looking at the slides through the YouTube link you sent me. So, cool. just FYI. Yeah, yeah, we can, they can see the screen. Awesome. Okay. Cool, cool. Let's go. All right, Puerto Rico. There we go. Hi, fellow fellow Puerto Rican. 150 Puerto people. Rico. Thank you guys for being on here. Okay. So the automated e-commerce five day training, guys. Find the right products, learn the art of smart marketing, and automate your Shopify business scale to seven figures. And yeah, there we go. Okay, let's get started, guys. Introduction. So the orientation, and first of all, I love to do the beginning with having the end in mind. What that means is that whatever you want to achieve in your life, whatever you want to achieve with your business, you always have to start Whatever you start, let's say you start a new business or you start a new venture, you're starting that with the end in mind. What is it that you want to do? What is that roadmap to the success? Because we need to figure out what the success look like for you. What is success for you? Because if you don't know what success is, then it doesn't really matter. You can't really build a roadmap to that. You can't really build something in order to get if you don't know where you want to get. So that's the first thing that we're going to do. And let's say success to you looks like making, let's say, $57,000 or $50,000 a month. And this is from one of my students. You may know him, Johnny. He's doing extremely well. This month, he actually crossed 80000 almost. And this is the month, the first month, he actually passed 50000 And you can see the, the screen there, the screenshot. His sales started going up and up and up. So in the beginning, he started very small, then started going up. So let's say this is what success means to you. And $57,000 in revenue maybe around 15, 16,000 a month in pure net profit. So let's say that is success for you. And success can be, you can look at it in any other way. For example, it might be just money. It might be just having a store that's very profitable. Imagine what success is for you. It might be just waking up in the morning and knowing that you're going to work on something that you're really passionate about, that you really love, not just something that you have. To yeah. Have. Dude, I think that's one of the things that I like most about e-commerce is when you wake up in the morning, you're like, I have a store, I have products, I'm selling them, I want to go see what's like been sold overnight. <laughs> like that's the thing I really like. I like about e-commerce specifically is just being able to wake up and being like, okay, there's something that's been working for me day and night trying to sell a product that I have listed and that is personally what success to me looks like. It's not like this end goal, although you get there and you're shooting for it 10K, 20K, 30K, 40K months or whatever, but my particular success is just being able to get up knowing that I don't have to go to someone else and work my butt off for them, but working for myself and coming to the computer, checking what is going on with my e-commerce store and then like busting my butt to get even more sales. That alone is like, I, for me, it's like a dream, dream, my own dream job. Like I created that, you know? Exactly. The, oh, you, your, oh, your mic is giving off an echo. Uh, your my, my partner, name is, sorry. Oh, your partner's voice is echoing. Let's see how we can fix that. Wait, echo is bad. Echo is bad. Oh, Tony's sound has echo. Huh? How can we fix that? Wait. Tony's voice echo. Maybe I should, should be really quiet. quiet. Or, or maybe, maybe it's, it's, it's coming, coming out of your computer, computer setting, thing, bro. Ah, because it's Skype. Yeah. Oh, that's why. Because it's Skype. Wait. How do I fix that? Wait, guys. We're fixing the echo. We're fixing the echo. Don't go crazy out there. Uh. Oh man, I'm sorry, you guys. Oh, and you should, you should, you should really like. I got a really cool voice. I hate that it echoes. <laughs> okay, let's see. Can you? Can you guys hear us? Can you guys hear us much better now? I just. Well, my my channel is actually muted. I'm not. I'm not actually listening to the uh, the channel. So, so I, I think, think it's, it's just coming, coming off, off of your speakers, speakers Raphael. Raphael. Maybe, yeah. Mute the mic. Okay. So... It is mugged. You guys want to see my mic? mic? 
San Diego, welcome in the house. Can you guys hear it now? Let's see. I think I think Ra- uh, Raphael's gonna have to go get some. Uh, he's gonna have to go get some. You to mute his YouTube channel. I don't. I'm not. Me- it's muted, guys. You can't hear it. I'm wearing these, so you can't hear my echo, right? I'm wearing these speakers or these headphones, so you can't hear me. So Raphael, I think you need to get some uh, if you have them. Some headphones. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm checking now. Wait. Because the echo is coming from your and your mic. A robotic alien. <laughs> wait, wait. I'm checking. Headphones. Be- yeah, see, I'm wearing help- headphones. You need to wear some headphones, Raf. Oh, beautiful. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, true. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to all of you. It's so cool to see so many people. Stop speakers. Better. Okay, okay, okay. Now it looks good. Raphael is good. The echo is gone. It's good now. Echo, it sounds good now. You need to be on headphones. It's yeah. good now. It looks like it's good, Raphael. I don't know if it's because you added the ec- your speakers are off. Yeah, it's okay now. But I'm on sorry, ladies and guys. gents, I think he's trying to fix this up. You got me right now. I don't know if you can see me or not. We've been doing it's fake. Um, yeah, it lives. Fake. We've been doing a lot cool. of lives cool, over cool. in uh, Facebook, and we're really I can excited listen to about Tony sharing talk all day. everything about e-commerce. Like, this is the coolest thing, guys. You're going to see everything. Thank you, Gawain. <laughs> we are literally, uh, I'm so excited because one of the things that I knew when I, you go everywhere, you go everywhere on YouTube, you go everywhere on, oh. Cool, cool, cool. I'm still on Skype. Okay, wait, Tony. I feel you there. Just getting this ready. Oh man, we are having, I am hearing so much echo. It might just be that they're delayed too, but let's see. Okay, talk now. Now we're good. Now we're good. Uh, okay. see if he's sending me a message. Now we're good. Now we're good. No. Might have to go to your settings. Now we're good. Now we're good. Okay. Now we're good. Oh, awesome, now awesome, we're good. awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're good. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can everybody okay. hear me? Is it still echoey? Just let us know. Yeah, just uh, crystal clear, crystal clear. Okay, awesome. Someone says voice is lagging. It isn't lagging on I, my side. So there is a lag. Huh. I don't know. It's not lagging for me, so I think we're good. Good, good. Let's go. Bingo. Voice is good. Let's go. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Sorry, okay. guys. We're Sorry just gonna we're just gonna have to lead with the lag now, <clears throat> guys. Going back to this slide, like I wanted to tell you guys, some one of the good things that I really liked about starting an e-commerce business. You should know that I built a seven-figure agency uh, business before uh, or uh, before I ever 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 saw e-commerce. E-commerce was to me like this thing where like, oh man, one day I want to have a product and I want to be able to just sell it and it'd be so cool to be in my pajamas and like show up and fulfill orders. I, don't, I, don't, I had that dream. I don't know about you guys, but I had the dream of like just being in business in my office, on my computer, moving forward and like trying to get sales throughout the day. That was like the big, big like, oh, I want to do this so much. And I ran into Raphael, which by the way, if you don't know Raphael, Raphael is probably one of the leading experts in the e-commerce business today, bar none. And and so I, I reached out to him because he was showing all the results from his students. I reached out to him and I was just like, man, you know what? Like I really, really want to learn from someone who's done this, who is in the trenches, who is doing the work. And it seems like you've been doing a lot of really great results with your students. Can you please take me on as your student? Sure enough, he tells me we get in there, I get my feet wet, and man, it was it's been the best experience to now live out that dream that I thought of, even as an agency owner, right? Because as, as an agency owner, I'm servicing people. I'm, you know, we're doing customer service, my team is trying to get wrapped around on onboarding new clients. But when I came to this business and I saw how how I thought it was super complex 
and Raphael dumbed it dumbed it down for me for the you know for my my dumb brain because <laughs> I I'm not a smart guy when it comes to e-commerce at all and so I was completely 100% like only wanting to follow one person to do the right thing to make sure that we actually got success and sure enough we started selling some good stuff and I could do exactly what I had envisioned e-commerce would be and that's coming to my computer checking my ads looking my looking at my products and fulfilling on uh, the products that had been ordered throughout the night or the day before before I, like I don't really look at stuff later in the evening but that's sort of what's been really exciting about working with Raphael so sorry go ahead man I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to interrupt <laughs> No, awesome. Thank you, man. And there's some people saying they can hear you talk all day. So it's, it's good that I brought you on here as well. Um, cool, bro. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. That's, that's my goal. And that ties into, honestly, I think that's the best feeling is when you're not just working for something that you're passionate about, something that you love. It's about seeing that progress because it's, it's about going from step to step to step. Let's say in the beginning, it's just $100 in sales or $1,000 in sales, and then it's $5,000. And just seeing that progress and you growing throughout the process is something that you can't get anywhere else but in a business. And that's really the beauty of this, is that progress. And you guys can see it when, when you see screenshots of, of sales, for example, they always go up. They always go up in that trend, and that's the beauty of it. You can actually getting a great, great result, but with, with more progress every single day. You might also just want to quit your job. For example, that's a goal of a lot of people on here, especially now during the coronavirus, during this whole pandemic, a lot of people, it's like they got hit with a truck that told them, hey, this situation that's happening now, you, your job is not safe. Your job is not secure. And it really has taught a lot of people that the way to have something secure, the way to have something that they can control no matter what is the business, is a business. It's not a job. It's not you working for somebody else because now let's say you worked in a business that depends on tourism or a business that depends on a lot of people going outside or just having a lot of people in the same place. You're, you're screwed. Your business is just it's gone and the person that you worked for they probably had to fire a lot of people not because they they're a bad person or they hate you or anything like that just because they have to do it for financial reasons so the most secure thing right now is a business it's not actually having a job so you know and it's if, funny you say that Raphael because in some cases bro like right now with the pandemic happening and all and, and kind of the aftermath we think everybody's like oh man I think the worst is over the worst is over but you know what if you have a job and you're you're in a nine-to-five and you've seen how it, it has affected your particular job. I have friends. I have friends that, that, that have never touched anything online. They've always been about, I want a secure job. I want a secure job. They went to school like me. Um, I took 10 years to finish my degree. They took four or less. <clears throat> I'm not a smart guy, right? I'm really kind of just, I'm super dumb, but really, I just kind of focus on one thing and I try to do it as best as I can for as long as I can to get things right. Um, and that's kind of been like the only thing that saved my butt but, but in times like this, you have people that are losing hours. They, they go from either full-time to part-time or even below part-time. I know people that are working less than four hours a week because they can't, they, the, the, the owners of the business that they work for, they can't actually continue to manage, right? And then the, the weird thing is, is if you think about, you wanna, if you think the worst is over, you start seeing like what happens with airlines can't open up again. What happens when you have retailers that are going out of business like J. Crew? Right, J. Crew just announced that they're filing for bankruptcy, and they're the first big, 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 big retailer announcing that they're going into bankruptcy because they can no longer sustain an offline brick and mortar business at a mall. Right, like, but that, but look at that. Like, th these are things that are extremely bad that are happening, and they're gonna, we're gonna start seeing the trickling effect of this stuff. Right, hey, welcome everyone from Italy, guys. You guys are strong out there, man. I'm really praying for y'all. The other thing is, is you have all these things that are these businesses that are going out of business. They're going they're going to the SBA, which is the Small Business Administration in the United States. They're going out there trying to get loans. They're trying to get the, the uh, disaster relief uh, loan that they can get. They're trying to survive through this pandemic. And the word the weirdest thing is, I I'm really grim on this, is that the pandemic is going to drive businesses even further into an abyss that they don't even see yet. Okay, so I don't think the end of it is ne the end of it is over. I think the end of it is still kind of like, <clears throat> or we're gonna see wave after wave after wave of this stuff happening. But you know what's the beauty in all of this, is if other retailers start to go bankrupt, 
if other toy stores like like think about think about Toys R Us. <clears throat> if Toys R Us goes bankrupt, I mean they they already did. But if other stores like it went bankrupt, if other retail stores went bankrupt, if all if all of a sudden people are staying home, they're starting to see the power <clears throat> of online commerce. They're starting to spend their money online. Exactly. Guess what's going to happen? Guess what's going to happen? Over time, the more the people who are lined up to service this service these people that are starting to see that they're going to this is a this is a, a game that we're going to have to play for the long haul. They're going to start buying stuff online. And you're probably you're in a position where you're just like, man, I really want I want I've always wanted to quit my job. I really wanted to leave it. Like there is no better time than now to start thinking about an e-commerce business because everybody is heading online to buy this stuff. Exactly. That's beautifully put. And yeah, I don't think I could have said it better. So there you go. Maybe also after this whole pandemic goes on, you want to travel the world. I've been to more than like 50, 60 countries at this point. Obviously, now I'm staying put. I'm not traveling anywhere. But if that's one of your goals later on, then you, that's the beauty of it. And imagine being just able to live life on your own time. That's just the beauty of it. And why? And I see a few people just saying, oh, we're motivated. Just teach us stuff like I'm motivated. I'm ready. I'm I'm I have all of these things. Stop talking. Just go to the nitty gritty. Go to the things. Yeah. That yeah. And I, you know what? To those people, man, I just want to say, like, guys, you can leave. You can leave because one of the things that I think is important is we want we like I rather work with people who are actually interested in following a system that works than someone who's just shutting us up. Like, really? Come on. Like, we're, we're here sharing of our time. You're literally going to get the best free training on the planet for e-commerce. And I need you to just hold your mouth and keep your eye, your eyes and your mind open to make sure that you take everything we're about to share with you because it's going to be killer. Exactly. And it's not about just give me the next strategy give me the thing that i need to do give me the step that i need to take it's about what most people don't think about is that mindset and when i look at my students my private students for example that are very successful they all have the right mindset they all know what they need to do to be in that space where they're constantly working for their goals and when i ask them what do you want to achieve with your business what do you want to achieve with your life they know exactly what that looks like and if you don't care if you don't care what you're going to do with your business, if you don't care where you're going to be with your business, then what does a strategy matter? Like, what does it matter if I tell you, oh, do this type of Facebook ad or find this product if you don't even know what you want to do with that product? Like, it, 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 it's, it doesn't matter, right? So you need to really get the mindset right. That's why we talk a lot about it. Other gurus, other people out there teaching might not care about this stuff, but that's also why they don't have successful students. And I'm successful. Yeah, and you know what, R Raphael? Right. If they can't even if they can't even stick to this little part in the presentation, I'm not sure that e-commerce business is for you. Like, like, see, exactly. like, like, come on, stick with the guys. Like, just show a little respect. We're gonna get to the good stuff. I promise you, this next week is going to blow your mind in terms of what you need to do to get a successful e-commerce going. Do not fret. Do not be worried. Don't cry or whine. We're gonna get there. I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> awesome and it's all possible guys maybe you've tried it before maybe you you've tried to do it like it, it's also the reality maybe a lot of people maybe you've taken some courses if you're taking some courses out there you bought some mentorships you bought some programs let us know because we want to know if you've been experienced if you've been in the battlefield maybe you tried it maybe you tried building a store choosing some products advertising maybe you're subscribed to some spy tools maybe you have ad spies tools and you maybe you got somebody to build a store for you build the best store that you possibly can but you failed and i'm here to tell you guys and nobody i i probably nobody has ever told you that it is not your fault that you didn't succeed you know that it is not your fault that you failed and everybody out there is saying oh maybe it's because you're stupid and a lot of gurus they do this for example they sell a course and you guys can tell me if, if you've seen this because I see it all the time. I see a course and the guru is telling people, oh, if you don't get results with the program, if you're not successful with the program, it's your fault. It's because you didn't do any work. It's because maybe you're not so smart. And when I see that, it really breaks my heart. It, it breaks my heart to see that because it is not your fault. The fault is on the person that is teaching you. If you're not successful and you're putting in the effort, you're putting in the work, which I, if you are here watching us, like you probably do put in the work it is not your fault right 
let's keep going here. You've been misled and taught wrong. Maybe you, you went on a course that wasn't really the best intention course. Maybe you were some part of a, of a mentorship and it didn't go that well. Maybe the person was just trying to make themselves rich and not you and they didn't care. So this is, it's happening a lot. So if you are not successful, or maybe you just haven't been done, haven't been doing it for a long enough time. I have some students that after one week, for example, they start watching my YouTube videos and after one week, they're not rich and they're not successful. And they comment on my videos like, hey, I've been trying this for like five days and it doesn't work. I look at that and I, I, I don't want to laugh and I don't want to insult them, but it's, it's sort of crazy that you expect results so quickly. Yeah, and and you know, one of the that, funny, yeah. one of the funny things, Raphael, is before I got started with you, man, like before we actually jumped on board and started working on that, we, we, I tried e-commerce, I put up a store, I spent so much money just trying to make the brand look good and to make the website look amazing and choosing the right product. I remember I spent money on a guy who was like, dude, it's all about just choosing the right product because the right product will just blow you out of the water. And it, it like he made it sound like you could just pick one, like one specific one and that just the product alone would sell itself. And dude, it was it's funny because I think we've all been told that and it wasn't until I got my my mindset correctly and, and looked at the, the right path, looked at the right steps that I was able to make a product go from uh, very barely selling to making it completely successful and and that's one of the things I'm extremely grateful for because there's a lot of people out there just showing like if you don't have the like oh you know what your story some people are saying oh I, I started a store and then it failed um, one failed store Muhammad right like you you start a store but it's like dude it's because you probably let at least for me when my store failed it was because I believed that my product sucked and it wasn't like the product that I needed to get and someone told me that it was the it, it was going to be an amazing product. Right. So there's a bunch of crap out there that, that has mid, misled a lot of you, including myself. And it wasn't until I got a good system in place that things worked out. And you're going to we're going to share all that stuff with you guys uh, this week. Exactly. And uh, I'm glad to see here. I didn't buy a course, but I learned from your video. I found one product and I spent 200 on ads and made 700. So congrats, sir. Awesome. Bull Bull. That's awesome. So even from the free content, guys, like. This is why I do this, because a lot of people ask me, why do you do it for free? You probably have some hidden agenda. Well, OK, yes, I have a mentoring program. Yes, I do have some products. That doesn't matter. I want to give you all the information here for free because you, you don't need to pay me a cent to be here. So anyway, no. it's OK. Yep. It's OK that you failed before and the people that have failed stores, maybe you did an Amazon FBA business, you did affiliate marketing, you did whatever it is and you failed, but it's OK because you paid your dues, you paid your tuition of life and you're now in the right place to make things like they should be. That's why you're here. If you're here, mm -hmm. you're in the right place. So just know that for being here, give yourself a pat on the back because you should be where you are now. Let's address the elephant in the room because I got this question many, many times. And let me know if you guys are uh, had this question still. If the coronavirus is the right time or is it a bad time to start an e-commerce business or to start a business in general, to run your business or what's happening? So now is actually the best time ever with the coronavirus, with this whole pandemic. It's the best time ever to sell on your own e-commerce store. And you might be thinking, like, why is it the best time ever? Like, now it's, it's the worst time. People are buying less. They have less money. But the thing is, the places that you go to build your business, to run your Shopify business, like Shopify, for example, because of the pandemic, they're offering a 90-day free trial. So if you didn't know, you can get 90 days for free on Shopify and just try it out. Just start a Shopify store, get some sales maybe, set it up, add your products, and it's all for free for 30 days. Facebook ads are cheaper than I've ever seen them. We're getting sales right now for ridiculously low cost, like crazy results that we've never seen before. And my students are getting crazy results. I'm gonna show you right now because of the less competition that there is on Facebook and massive companies that are not advertising on Facebook. For example, people that, are, that have a company that's a billion dollar company and they have a bunch of retail stores and they have a bunch of employees Probably now they had to fire a lot of people and they had to stop advertising and big corporations, big companies had to stop advertising. So that leaves space for small people or small in you know, quotations because we're not really small, but we're the people that have that access to, to the advertising space. And students right now, here is Nicola, for example, his, 
his month, last month of April, he made about $67,000. So just crazy, crazy volume. His best month ever was the last month of April. Sunny here, last month, he made $9,000 in a single day. Crazy, crazy numbers. Johnny right here, this month of April, $77,000. So really the best results I've ever seen from my students are now, are in March, are in April. It's just the best. And here, Eva, in February, she actually had a pretty bad month. And now in March, she came back and had a great month. And now in April, she had an even better month. So if you're thinking, oh, it's the right time, maybe I shouldn't do it. Maybe like I tried it before and it didn't work that well. Should I wait until this whole pandemic subsides? No. You know right. what I would also say, Rafael, is like one of the things you have to notice too, guys, is if like, it, because everybody's at home right now, if you start selling through e-commerce th like this month into the next couple of months while people are buying, guess what you're collecting? There, there's more buyers online than ever before right now. And if you continue to build a list of buyers, what are you doing? You're setting yourself up so that you can, so Facebook can help you with your ads. We'll talk more about that stuff later, but you're setting yourself up to continue to be able to get more customers along the way because there's so many buyers right now online. Exactly. That everybody's online right now. That's the crazy. Yeah, thing. that's the best. Yeah, it's the best time to try to get into this because online you're never going to have another opportunity to get as many buyers on a list. So Facebook can help you even sell more. And that's what happens is people like once you make a couple sales, Facebook starts figuring this stuff out. And by the end, by the end of the day, like when you, by the time the, the coronavirus is over, you have a list of a ton of buyers that you can now create even more buyers out of. But that's more. We'll talk about that later. Sorry. <laughs> Exactly. And also uh, one person commented the shipping times are bad. And yes, I will talk about uh, a small or actually a pretty big advice here about shipping times. So you have to be really careful about what shipping company you use because just choosing a random product off of AliExpress, for example, or just some random product from China, that is not the way to go. The way to go is to find an agent or a dropshipping agent that can actually fulfill your orders as best as possible. And I'm gonna show you how to do it in just a couple of minutes or to use a legitimate company like CJ Dropshipping. There's other ones like Hyperskew, Udropy, which right now they're getting a lot of volume. It's not the best thing ever. So actually getting an agent, if you guys want me to show you that, just comment down agent or show me how to get an agent because I can go deep into that. And I, I love talking about that because that, that's one of the things that I do on a daily basis. Now, trends are going up as well. If you look at trends like work from home, home gym, fitness at home, all these trends are massively going up. And you can really capitalize on this because it's very easy to identify what's selling well. So I'm not telling you to go out there and sell face masks or hand sanitizer or toilet paper, or nothing like that, but to sell products that are a direct effect of the pandemic. So what does the pandemic cost is, or what does it cost? is people are at home, they wanna train at home, they wanna work at home. I have one student who's selling products for working at home, for being at home and working, and he's absolutely crushing it. He's making like 50 grand a month selling products for, for working at home because people don't have any other options. They just work at home, or home gym, fitness at home, training at home, whatever it is. All these trends are just massively going up. But maybe, maybe you're scared. And are you scared to fail? That's the question that I want to ask everybody. And if you are, let's say you're scared to fail or you're scared to not do it right. You're scared to not get the results that you want. Just remember the fear of failure is really the most ironic thing in the world. Because if you don't take action on what you want to do, you're going to fail anyways. So anytime you're remind, and again, this is all the mindset issue. If you don't care about mindset, if you don't care about success about getting to where you want to be if you just want a strategy you just want like hot products to sell that's cool but this is not the place this is what we, this whole thing defines your success is if you're scared to fail you're gonna fail anyway so yeah okay. and one of the things I, I remember hearing about the fair failure from a really cool mentor of mine called, uh, his name is uh, Perry Belcher and he yeah. I remember him saying like look like if you are scared you, what the problem is with most people is that they want to just focus on the dream I have a dream that I want to work at home and how do I work from home especially right now with the pandemic that's my dream how do I work from home I want that so bad and then it's like 
you know what? I'm going to go back and eat my Cheetos and, and like go watch <laughs> my, net, my, my Netflix because they prefer – to keep the dream alive versus taking action and, and fear of failure comes because of inaction, right? The moment you decide to take action and actually do something about this stuff is the moment you start getting closer and closer and closer to that dream. And you're going to, the, the beauty of it is when you take action, it takes all the doubt away because you know exactly the task is in front of you. You know what obstacle you're going to have to overcome. You know exactly what you're going to have to do when you have the right path in front of you, which we're going to tell you guys that today, guys, for e-commerce is very specific and very simple. It's probably the simplest thing I've ever seen in my life. Right, it's a simple formula to make sure that this works correctly. But if you don't take action, you're just fooling yourself. Fear of failures is completely done away with. Doubt is completely done away with by taking action. Sorry, man. Go ahead. Exactly. I'm just very passionate about that one. <laughs> <laughs> and also, if you don't know who I am, because we do have a lot of people here that came through a referral. Maybe you found me on a Facebook ad, whatever it is. I've been teaching this stuff for years at this point. However, 28,000 people here on YouTube more than 17,000 people on Facebook, teaching e-commerce, teaching automated e-commerce, and they call me the 1K day master. More than about 50 to 100 students have all gotten to 1K per day with my teachings, with my help. So you are in the right place. They call me also the 50K month master because I help a lot of students, for example, here on the left, Albert, he had 52K. On the middle, Johnny hit 57K. Nicola hit 67. And also the 5K per day master. So I even help my students hit 5k per day 6k per day so if you don't trust me that much that's cool but just know that i don't only preach my results i preach the results of my students because a lot of people ask me like oh why do you always talk about your students well it doesn't matter if i'm successful if other people can be successful using my strategies then what's the point of you learning from me so yeah, and then no one of the here. things, guys, like remember this is that if you have any questions, we're going to answer them towards the end or yes. in one of the training days this week. So keep asking your questions. I'm jotting them down, the ones that I can see because the feed sometimes goes a little faster than I can. But write down like your questions. Make sure you ask them towards the end of the training. It's normally where we're going to have Q&A for each, each and every single day that we go through this week. Exactly. And I also, I'm, I'm a regular person just like you. So enough about me. There's a massive issue in the e-com industry right now that I want to discuss here. And most people that teach e-commerce or that you can learn e-commerce from or other gurus out there are what I call really fame flies. So the, all they are interested in is fame, fame, fame. And how can I get more clicks? How can I get more views? Not about results. So they copy each other. They make useless videos. They talk about fluff to get famous. And then magically, they try to sell you a cheap course. So if you ever seen this, like somebody just, they become famous on YouTube, they just talk about fluff, not real strategy, nothing, and then just come <laughs> out with a $297 course. It happens again and again and again. And I'm really tired of it. So I just decided, let's just put that all and bury it in the ground. So. But let me ask you this. If they're spending all their time making videos, following the lifestyle, you actually think their Dude, programs are mentorships feel, How long have you been doing this? Uh, the whole e-commerce game, I've been like four or five years almost at this point. So it's going to be a few months until I hit five years. Wow. And then teaching about two years yeah. at this point. That, you're, I think there might be a slight delay, but that's probably okay. But anyway, dude, I just want to know because some of these people, what they'll do on YouTube is they'll go up and they'll put up videos and they'll do this or even on Facebook or they'll create groups and they think that they're like the e-commerce experts or whatever. And then they fall, they like completely leave. They leave the game because they like, they didn't see all the riches they hoped for and here we are as like oh. and I find it always really interesting like there's gurus out there huh there's gurus out there that that completely just ah, they, they just they fly by night they come and they go and they never stay right exactly just fly by night literally and guys, please keep asking your questions. We will answer all of them at the end and I will go through every single one of them. We will do a full one hour Q&A session. So if you have any questions, put them down below. I'm gonna, ask, I'm gonna answer all of them, so don't worry. Short answer is no. If they're spending all their time making videos, then their mentorships or programs are probably not good at all. So just keep that in mind. We focus on teaching, no fluff, or we real help, student results like I was talking about just amazing, amazing results. So 
What are we going to learn over the next five days, apart from answering your questions, apart from going all through what you want to learn, what you need to learn for your business? So the first thing is you need to realize that all you need to succeed, and this is a formula that I want you to keep in mind at all times. I want you to just think about this. Whenever you're thinking, oh, am I, am I going to be successful in this business? Uh, if you are successful a little bit now, you're getting like $100 a day, $500 a day, and you want to scale that up. What do I need to succeed? And all you need to succeed is a product, but not just any product. We're going to go into the details about that product, the right traffic or the right audience to hit that product and the right way to get that traffic and then your store. So everything lies in these three aspects. So that if you're having, for example, a problem where you nobody wants to buy from you, just you send people to your website and nobody wants to buy then it's probably a product problem or a store problem that people just think you're scammy or it's sketchy and they don't want to buy from you, but it's most likely a product problem. If let's say people want to buy, but you're not profitable, you're not making any money, then traffic is the thing. Or if let's say you're getting a lot of people that visit your website, that visit your store, but they don't really, they just jump out after five seconds, they jump out after 10 seconds, or maybe you're even getting some sales. You're, you are profitable, but you want to be even more profitable, then that's the store issue. So just always keep this formula in mind. Product plus traffic. Yeah, plus it's one of the it's one. one of the funny things that you say that, Raphael, because I remember when I heard this, dude, this is true for anything online. Th th literally, this is the formula for anything you want to sell online, whether it's a product, a service product or service, whether it's one of those two things, you can put that in box number one for the part of the formula. What do you need in order to sell that stuff? Whether it's a product or a service, you need traffic, right? You need a place, I'm sorry, you need traffic, people who are actually interested in what you have to offer, sell, give, provide, whatever. And then the last thing is you need a place. You need a place for them to go to so that they can now interact with you, find out more about you, maybe leave, come back, leave, come back, whatever it takes, but they need to come back to a place where they can now spend their money, get their car out of their wallet, put it in, you know, not well, actually not put it to anywhere specific, but look at the numbers, type in the information and buy your stuff. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it's the easiest formula in the entire world and everybody tries to complicate this. They try to say, oh my God, you need to have the perfect research to find the perfect job, I mean the perfect product or the perfect service <clears throat> or which niche is the more profitable or, or, or am I choosing the right product and everybody gets so caught up in the product that they forget everything else and they completely ruin the entire situation, right? <clears throat> then they go and they, they start getting like worried about traffic. Man, how do I get organic traffic? How do I get paid traffic? How does that work? Am I gonna even succeed? Like they get so bombarded by the ifs and the, uh, the objects after that, it's, it, and they forget it's just super, it's super, it's in super easy formula. If you have a, a product to sell, traffic to, to get to it in a, in a place where people can actually give you money, you've already solved like 90% of the, of the issues you're gonna face. That's why you shouldn't be scared because this three stuff is easy to take care of and we're gonna go through these each and every single day of this week for you to realize that this is possible. There's nothing to hold you back. And if there's any questions that you have, we're gonna be able to answer them at the end of every training. Awesome. All right, day two, which is tomorrow, we're gonna learn absolutely everything about products. Guys, so if you have absolutely any issues, any doubts, I'm gonna go into exactly what my criteria and my rules are for a winning product, and not just a winning product, but the products that get tons of views, tons of people watching them on my YouTube channel, the products that I share with my students. How do I find them? and what makes a winning product. So if you find whatever product on, let's say AliExpress or Ecom Hunt or another spy tool, you have my rules in order to pick, oh, is it a good one or is it not? You'll have those rules exactly for you. And also some of these students have just been absolutely able to crush it like in six days, 18K from one product that I recommended to him. Just $18,000 from a product that I recommended. And also I give out 10 products every single month to my private students I'm gonna actually give those to you for free if you stay with us until the end of day two. So it's gonna be pretty mind blowing. I'm gonna give you all the products, absolutely everything that you need. Day and if you think about be, if you think yeah. about it, <clears throat> if you think about it just a little bit, because we're giving look, you gotta understand, guys, that the product is not the problem. The product is not the problem. The product, we're gonna get to you, the ones that are winners that seem to be doing great. We're gonna talk about 
exactly what makes them look really good so that they're good products to try to promote. We're going to go into all that stuff, but you got to understand the product is not the problem. There's something deeper than that. We'll go into into it to it deeper on that specific day and day two when we talk about traffic and all those things as well. Now, before we move forward, sorry, Raphael, I just want people to know, I want them to, in the comments, please put this down and it doesn't mean post-traumatic syndrome. It means <laughs> product traffic store. Please let me know in the comments that you understand that the only thing you need to make e-commerce successful is PTS. Put PTS in the comments right now to show me that you understand you like if there's anything else you think you need you're you, like guys remove all that it is a simple formula p plus t plus s equals money equals sales equals a growing business show me in the comments that you understand that p plus t plus s or pts for short that you know and understand that that is the formula you need to follow in order to be successful do you understand that does that make sense to you guys and I love that because people try to overcomplicate it. Like your product can be great. Your product can be amazing, but don't let anybody tell you that the product is a hundred percent what, what matters. It's also your ability to get the right audience, build out the store properly is you can just put a random product on a random store with good traffic and it works. You can't just put a great product in a bad store and hope that it works. It needs to be a combination of everything. That's what we're going in depth into all of them and it doesn't it, it just doesn't take one day to do it that's why i'm doing it in five days and you guys might think i'm crazy like well why are you doing it in five days why not just do it in one hour or two hours well we've been 46 minutes talking here and no we are we are crazy Raphael. <laughs> Raphael, Raphael, we're crazy dude because you know what there are people out there who are charging for this stuff and we're going to give it away for free we're freaking crazy why because we believe in implementation not information being sold if you want implementation, you want to get handhold, that's the stuff that's really worth your money, not courses that don't hold your hand, that, that don't implement with you, right? So we're giving all this stuff away and it looks like everybody, oh, yes, I love that everybody's putting out their PTS, PTS, product plus traffic plus service equals money. That's right. And we're going to go we'll through that exact process, nothing else to make sure you guys understand exactly what you need to do so you can leave here either to do it yourself or to work with us, but you don't have to work with us. You can go out there and do it yourself. Just to be upfront, right, Raphael? We're being upfront. Yes, we sell a mentorship. Yes, we sell an implementation pro program that helps you automate the entire process. But that's not why you're here, and that's not what we're here for. We're here to tell those other gurus, those other uh, e-commerce people out there on YouTube or Facebook that are trying to sell you this information without implementation that you can take – We're here to show these people that you can get all this information for free and get success on your own without having to go pay for information because informa information is trying to be free. Information is where it's at. Exactly. Information should be free, guys. Just keep that in mind. Day three, we're going to go into traffic. And my friend Tony here is a master at doing Facebook ads, just doing traffic and the keys to perfect advertising. I'm going to go into exactly what helps my students go from, let's say, zero or $10, $20, $100 a day to over $8,000 a day. So you'll see that change and you'll see the type of ad that allows you to get that. You'll see the combination and the type of ad copy that we should write. And one really cool thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create ad copy for you. So if you show up on day three, which is gonna be on Wednesday, I actually can create ad copy for you live. So you just put me the product that you're selling and I'll create some ad copy for you. So if you want to show oh, up. Dude, Raphael, you're like the best at this stuff too, man. You're like the pro at it. When I, dude, I, I didn't realize how big of a, pro, like an ad copy problem I had until I met you. And then when I met you, I wanted to buy the products, you know? <laughs> I was like, damn, this kid's really good at this stuff. So that's, you're in for a treat on day three when we go into that particular aspect of it. Exactly. And also guys, I'm going to go into the agent tutorial in five minutes. So wait just five minutes. I'm going to go into teach you how to find an agent. So don't worry. And also, for example, here's one student after one hour calling with me, just one hour, he was able to do about $1,500 in profit even. So imagine just one hour working with me and knowing my strategies, 1500 bucks is absolutely crazy. And then day four, which is the insane day, we're going to learn absolutely everything to having an irresistible store an irresistible store that gets sales and sales again and again and then we're going to do another live one hour q a and we're doing a very special announcement so this day you do not want to miss this day day four if you want to take your business to a next level you want to get results the best as possible 
you do not want to miss day four. You also, you're going to learn how my students, for example, 37K in less than 20 days with just some changes to their ads and a full-blown Q&A with me. That's going to be day five. So on day five, we're going to go in deep into a live Q&A. I think what I, I, what I really like about creating the irresistible story too is that like, Oh, everyone out there is trying to tell you like to brand or to do all these complicated things to make an irresistible store, man. And it's such a simple process. I can't wait to get into that because I think that's what changed it for me. Remember when I told you guys when I first got started, I was like spending tons of money on design and all this other stuff. And little did I know when we talked about conversion rate and increasing the conversion of sales, I was like, I was completely mind blown, Raphael, by what you had to, what you had to share, bro. And I was like, oh my God, I've, I've been so dumb thinking like I wanted to create like this beautiful store and make it look super awesome. And uh, the, the steps that you showed me for that were, were really amazing. So I can't wait for you guys to understand that. Awesome. So let's go into answering your questions. We've been here 50 minutes already, so imagine that. So, do you guys understand? Wait, did we get to the end? Are we already at the end? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're going to go into the questions oh, and awesome. answering everything now. So, we're going to go into a full blown awesome. QA and also answering everything that you guys need. So, is it the right time to do it? Have I solved this problem, guys? Of course, it's the right time to do it. It is the best time to ever do it. So, if I solve that problem, drop me a big yes down below and we'll get started. The big, big thing that everybody's waiting for, and Tony, I'm sure you struggle with shipping times, you struggle with delivering your products, and yeah. this is the main thing that I see. Let's say the, the people that are very serious about their business, they struggle with finding somebody that will reliably and consistently ship their products. And I think that's the main, main problem of every single person that is getting some results and is very serious about their business, but is not getting the results that they want. And for example, some of my students have even been hurt by this. They want to get to like 10K a month or 20K a month, but their sourcing issues, their shipping problems are getting in the way. So let's go into that right now. Yeah, so the Raphael, main things, I want to, I want uh, some, some people are asking about how to be your student and like how much it costs. Guys, guys, this is a free training that you can take. Do things manually. Do it yourself and kick some butt. Please, let's not let, – like we said we were going to present something, but that's just going to be later. It, it is not important because you do not need that in order to be successful. So let's not ask about that. We're not going to share with that. I know that you guys – some of you guys are asking for that. But don't, don't do that. Let's just focus on this free training, getting some implementation going and getting it done. All right, guys? Awesome. So now let's some go. Some questions you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a lot of questions in here that I'm going to answer. So don't worry, guys. Don't worry because there's a lot. So the first thing that I want to introduce to you, if you haven't heard of the website Upwork, and Upwork is one of my favorite websites in the world. They essentially focus on combining or contacting, connecting freelancers or people that, oh, and I'm not sharing this. Sorry. Show Chrome. There we go. Now I'm showing it. So wait, you guys can see it in just a second. Sorry, I was showing my keynote, not my. Guys, if you're not interested in mindset, if you are criticizing us, then just you're free to leave. This training is not for everybody. If you think like, oh, what you're talking about is is like, oh, you're just going around the bush. You're not talking about anything. Cool. Then this is not for you. But for those who are like Julia, Victor, those guys, people who really want this stuff, trust me, like uh, I think it's been uh, Victor. It's funny how Victor saying that. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Anyway, so Julia, thank you for thank you for saying that. Look, guys, this is exactly what we're going to go through day to day. It's a free training. We set up literally from day 4th of May, may the 4th be with you up until the 8th. And we're going to kill it by giving you this amazing information that you can take and make your own and go and do your thing with e-commerce. Seriously. In fact, I almost like, I'm surprised he's going, he's answering questions right now because some of these are going to be answered very specifically by the training that we're going to go through. Uh, but yeah, if you've never used Upwork, it's a great, great tool for you guys. <laughs> the Lambo screen. Uh, these yeah. some of these people are funny bro <laughs> yeah they're really funny um so yeah guys so if you don't know about upwork upwork basically connects freelancers to stores or companies so what you want to look for in upwork is if you are a newbie or if you're let's say starting with your shopify business finding an agent 
is pretty tough. Finding a dropshipping agent and what an agent basically means is somebody that takes care of your fulfillment, takes care of getting your, your products sent to your customers. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to Upwork.com and type in dropshipping agent. So literally that. And you'll find a lot of people just randomly. What I recommend is people from China, that you work with people only from China. Don't work with, you know, Philippines is an amazing country, Pakistan, all these countries are great. But if it's a dropshipping agent or dropshipping supplier, I always wanna work with China or if it's a local supplier in the US. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in China on the left hand side. And we're gonna find a lot of different dropshipping agents here. So let's say we wanna look for somebody that has, this one is perfect. So China sourcing agent, dropshipping, Amazon FBA sourcing, this is a big one. If they work with Amazon FBA suppliers, that's big. Like this is, it's the best thing because Amazon FBA uh, people that do Amazon FBA is because they have a lot of volume, a lot of volume of products and they are used to having massive, massive volume of products. Alibaba, 1688, she's from China, 98% job success. Basically what this means is that they are the best at this platform, at Upwork. So when they get a 98% job success and they have $80,000 earned, that means that a lot of people have paid them a lot of money and they've also given them great, great feedback. So we wanna go into this profile and what we can either do is we can hire them off the bat. So if you go to the bottom here is you can start an offer and what that basically means is telling them if they can work for you. So it's just like going out to, to a random person and telling them, hey, do you wanna work for me? So obviously they, they work for you for a specific thing. So they're doing the dropshipping agent and, or the dropshipping supplying, not just a random thing, but this is how you do it. So you either start an offer or what is called posting a job. So what you can do is you go and post a job here on the right hand side and you need to have an account. I have my own account, but I'm just not logged in. So if you're logged in, what you can do is you can post a job that you're looking for a dropshipping agent in China. And then you find somebody like this. I highly recommend this if you are a newbie or if you are somebody that doesn't have that many sales. Yeah, my internet is a little bit slow, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, it should be fine now, right? Sorry, guys. My internet should be yep. good now. Sorry about yeah. that. You were you were you you stopped where you talked about you can start an offer, you can uh look at how many how these people have worked. There you're getting the best out there. I think that's where you kinda of, you kinda of left off. Okay. So sorry about that guys. Uh you should be all here. I'm sorry, the video stopped uh, because my internet is not that great, so I'm sorry about that. I'm still going through the through the thing. We're not gone. We're still here. Let me know if you're still here. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're here. We're here, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're here. You guys can hear us fine, right? Let us know if you yes, can I hear Yes, I think us. they can. Oh, it's back. It's back. We should be back. Yeah, we are here. Okay, we should be back. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so uh, what happens with most of these suppliers or these dropshipping agents is that you need to pay them a little bit. So you can either do a consolidation or you can do a product sourcing request. And typically these will cost you around 125, 250, $200. So you will have to pay a little bit for them to go and find you the product, for them to go and actually source you the product for you to start selling. So another thing that you can do, which is the most cost effective way or the best way to do it, is to go on Facebook and then start going through e-commerce groups. So I would just type in, for example, Shopify, and I can just go through Facebook groups of Shopify or dropshipping or anything that's related to Shopify and dropshipping. And I would go to, for example, let's say Shopify newbies. It's a pretty big store, a pretty big group, or you can go to my group even. So I have a, a group on Facebook. It's called Seven Figure Ecom Secrets. And you can go to this group and you can type in the group or ask inside the group for an agent. So what I would do here is go and post my screenshot of my sales and say, hey guys, I'm looking to scale my store to 50 orders per day and I need an agent as soon as possible. My niche is, and then you talk about your niche, let's say that's uh, like kids toys or something like that, or 
home decor, whatever your niche is, whatever products you're selling. And then you go and post your screenshot of your sales. So what you want to do is that you attract agents or you attract suppliers from your current results. So the sales that you already have, you're attracting more sellers or more suppliers just because you, you have good results already. So this only happens if you already have results. So if you already have results in your Shopify store, you want to post in as many Facebook groups as possible to get an agent, to get somebody that can supply your products as best as possible. If you don't have that many results, you will have to pay a little bit for it and get an agent on, in China. Now, if you don't want to do this even, you can go to a few places. You have Udropy. You have, I'm going to leave this. You have Hyperskew. And you have CJ Dropshipping. And you also have ePerlo. So you have Udropy. Udropy is great. It's a great, um, a great solution to get suppliers or get a manufacturer or get somebody to actually ship out your products. The problem is that if you are not making that many orders, it is not that cost effective. So you will have to pay around $90 to $100 a month for Udropy, which is a little bit tough for some people that are not really getting that many results, not doing that well. So it is a little bit expensive in terms of you have to pay per month to be part of Udropy, but they are, they do have they do allow you to ship very quickly. There's also Hyperskew, which I actually think is, is one of the best ones. It depends on your product though. So they're great. They ship really good. Uh, even if you have, even if you don't have that many sales, they ship really well, but, oh my God, it's slow, right? Guys, I'm sorry. Video stuff. ah, what is it happening? Guys, you should be able to hear me. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what, it's my internet. It's my internet, guys, I'm sorry, but you should be fine now. One thing I wanted to mention too, dude, is like- Go for it. The cost of the product to make more profit, by going with an agent. And so an agent was like by far the most important decision I've ever made. And I think it's perfect because you, with a good agent, you can literally set up to have good product, good traffic, good store, right? So uh, yeah, this is kind of like, this is really good that you're, you're showing this. In fact, I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But this so, is really good. The agent is the best thing. Yeah, so you can also use, and I, I stopped sharing my screen. I think it's gonna be easier, the connection here. So the other companies that you can use are also eProlo. eProlo is great. The problem is that right now they are struggling with some staff issues. And even though they're a great app, they might have some problems with, with scaling up. So if you are thinking about using eProlo, just make sure that they have your product, they have it available, and that they're ready to source it. So with all of these suppliers, and I know somebody asked, like, how do you make sure they're legitimate? How do you make sure that they're, they're great? So the thing is, you can never be 100% sure that a supplier and agent is gonna be good for you. You can only just protect yourself as much as possible. So one thing that you can do, which is really important, is that every supplier, every agent that you go to, you should always ask for proof that they have the products. That's the first thing. So what that proof means is they can either send you a spreadsheet of stock of the product, they can send you a link to their backend where it shows you how many products they have. They can send you a video of the factory with a bunch of products. Sometimes I've done that before. And it doesn't matter the company, it doesn't matter if your favorite YouTuber, your favorite guru, wherever it is, if they suggested that to you, it doesn't matter. Because I've heard a lot of people, for example, there's one company which shall not be named, and a lot of, a lot of gurus started promoting it. They started saying like, this company is the best one because they were all paid to do it. So they were paid to promote this offer, to promote this company, and it wasn't really good in the end. It just really failed out. A lot of people lost their products, a lot of people didn't get their orders, and a lot of people just ended up losing a lot of money. So I would never recommend, even if somebody recommends you a dropshipping agent or recommends you a sourcing software, whatever it is, to always confirm by yourself. Don't trust anybody blindly. So that's those are the main key takeaways. And also, what I would recommend is that in the beginning, if you are, let's say a beginner, and there, there's gonna be a lot of beginners here that let's say you have like five orders or 10 orders or 20 orders, do your stuff 
outside of an agent. You don't need an agent for like an order a day or two orders a day. You can just do, let's say, AliExpress or do CJ dropshipping or do eProlo for the first 10 orders a day, 15 orders a day. When you really want to scale up, like my, my student Johnny, for example, he's doing 80 grand a month, just crazy numbers. When he started, he was getting two, three orders a day. He was just working with a regular Chinese supplier from AliExpress, started when he was at 20 orders a day, upgraded to an agent, found an agent, and now he's at 50 or even 100 or even 200, 300 orders a day, I think at this point. And he's working with an agent plus a fulfillment center in the United States. So what he's doing is like a double. So he's actually getting products from the US, shipping, so he, he's getting products from China, shipping them from the US, keeping them in the US, and then shipping them out to his customers. So that's the transition that you need to go through. It's AliExpress, not reliable, kind of kind of shitty supplier, I would say, and then go to agent, really good ha person capable of handling, and then you want to do US-based fulfillment. That's the next level. Or it depends on what country you have a lot of sales from. Because I have one student who has a lot of sales from the UK, the United Kingdom, and he has a supplier or a fulfillment center in London. So he ships a lot of products from China over to London and then ships them out to the customers. So it just depends on what country you're, you're advertising to, which is key, 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 key. But if there's anything, if there's anything that's like super important, oh man, I think I can hear my echo. Yeah, wait, but wait. If there's anything super important. One second. Yeah, I, I need to. Sorry about that. Okay, I was just gonna say that the most that like one of the cool things about all this is that you can if you if you are just starting out if you if you failed or if you tried any of this stuff and you're just kind of like man like I hope I hope this training will do what it's intended to do and I want to learn the product the traffic and the and the and the store process and formula to get this right you have to understand that like if you can tell just by listening to Raphael this is a process you guys like this is a process that you just have to take one step at a time look at the step in front of you go little by little until you make it work and that is what we're here to help you guys do throughout this week and also if you decide in the future to join up with us hand in hand actually part of our inner circle that's great but if not not a problem the, the goal is that through this week you're going to be able to take all the information we give you and really take it to the next level. You have a couple of questions here, bro, about um, like know. advertising. And and I think, guys, you're going to get those answers. I promise we're going to go over some of this stuff in the training as we go along. Um, we're going to talk about the product, the traffic part of it, which I think you guys really want to know about. And then, of course, how to create a store that is actually going to convert people into customers. Awesome. And also, there are some people asking, oh, do you have uh, your contact to an agent? Uh, can you give me your agents? Well, I only refer my agents, my personal agents to my own private students. So unfortunately, I can't do it to 20, 250 people. It would, it would be too much. And I can only do it with my private students. That being said, uh, if you guys show up for day four, which is our special announcement, I will give you a list of private agents. So if you show up for day four, I will give you a private list of agents, suppliers, all of that. I'll get it ready for you and I'll do it. I can't share my own because they'll be a little bit crazy, but yeah. Well, so, and I mean, I, I think when you, when you specifically save them for, it's just that they've proven, they've worked with you for a while. Guys, sometimes like, like, like the idea that I, it's like giving you the fish when I should really be teaching you to learn to fish, exactly. right? The idea behind it is that we are teaching you a way to get an agent that's going to work really well for you. You just have to communicate. If the problem is is having a list of those agents, we're going to give you that list of agents on the final day when we start to announce uh, what you guys can do to take this to the next level too. But again, that is not required. You don't have to do anything with us. You can take all the information you're going to learn and you're going to succeed. So if you show up for the end and you stay, like, it's kind of funny, but like, but if you show up at the end, you will definitely get that list. You don't have to worry about the agents. You don't have to worry about which ones to contact. You're going to have a list of amazing agents that you can reach out to. Exactly. And the stage where you need those agents is 15 to 20 orders per day consistently over seven days or more. So let's say the past two days you made a killing and you made $5,000 and you absolutely crushed it. And the next two days it all falls down and you don't have that consistency. A lot of agents will look at that inconsistency and think, ah, this is not somebody I want to work for. 
So what you want to make sure is that you have consistent sales volume so that every day you're getting some sales. And that's the key with this training. That's why we're doing it over a five day period. I wanna make sure that I answer all your questions here and that it's all good. But yeah, that's, that's the goal is to get you to that consistent uh, period. So now, uh, Tony, if you wanna share something before I go into more questions, uh, cause there's a lot of them here. That we got to yeah. Go. Well, let me, let me answer some of them. If you don't mind, like there's one that says, how do you handle taxes and other legal aspects of e-commerce store guys? That is stuff that like, we're not, we're not CPAs. We're not accountants, but we have a way of doing this, right? Uh, if you're not personally, if you're not running it through an S corporation and paying yourself a wage and dividends to running your business, like as an employee, et cetera, the, uh, then that might be something you might look into, but we can definitely talk about more. What do you, what do you do, Raphael? So what I do is I have a private accountant. So somebody that actually handles my own taxes uh, apart from anybody else. So he's just my own accountant. I only refer him to people that I really trust. So I can't just like say, oh, go and get this guy because he's he only works with a select group of people. But I, has, I suggest the same. Just get your own private accountant. Uh, we can't give you information. I'm sorry uh, if you're asking about tax advice, legal advice. I unfortunately can't because it's a, it's literally illegal to give you legal advice. So okay, in that, that. In, in, in that case, I retract my statement. That's just how I run it. I run mine with an S corporation paying myself exactly. dividends and wages. That's not to be taken as advice because you should have your own guy. But listen, 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 listen. Guys, we are here to try and take advantage of the situation that we're in so that we can benefit others for things that they want, benefit ourselves for the, the dreams we want to accomplish, right? We're trying to make this all a win, 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 win situation. And I think you're in the right spot and the right place right now. One of these guys is saying that his, his mind blew up because we have a lot of information. Wait till you go to the next couple of days because you're gonna get just like a ton of great it. value out of being here. Awesome. Uh, a lot of people, their minds are blown. So happy that you're here. When I went to an agent, Raphael, when I went to an agent, like when I went to uh, getting my, or my my products fulfilled by an agent, or not an agent, but when I got, I got the connection to the supplier through through this mm. person, I remember my shipping times went down by like almost 50%. And so right now, yeah. like depending on which product you buy, you can get it as soon as 15 days, in some cases even sooner, because if people pay for expedited shipping, we have a specific line of uh, so, uh, of uh, 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 transportation routes or companies that we use depending on how fast you want it. So I was not able to get any of that shipping information if it wasn't for my agent. And, and this guy is constantly looking for like, what's the best, fastest route to get this product from here to here. And like when I had issues with customs, when I had issues with like product being stuck, is you know what this this particular transportation shipping company is not working. Let's go with another one. We went with another one. Things have been working like super awesome, guys. It is invaluable, invaluable what it means to get an agent that it knows everything, supply lines, shipping processes, customs, all that stuff to get the best shipping time to your customer. Because I know that's the biggest problem. That's the biggest problem I had. I wanted to solve that yeah. ASAP because I hate support tickets about shipping times. And also it's, uh, it's it's because of the pandemic, there's a lot of suppliers and a lot of people that are agents that will try to mislead you, especially if you don't know that much. They will try to tell you like, oh, we can ship out in seven days. We can ship out in three days. And you're like, huh? Like so fast? Be very careful with people that promise too much because if they promise too much, they likely can't, uh, you know, succeed with that promise. So be very careful, guys. Uh, we can go more in detail into this. I can literally talk about this topic for yeah. two hours because I, I know a lot <laughs> of it. So, yeah. so let's go into a few questions. And if you guys have questions, drop them down below. We talked a lot about shipping. We talked a lot about sourcing. Uh, we talked a lot about uh, in this pandemic situation, what is a good delivery time? So how much do you expect to get the product or how long do you expect to get the product during the pandemic? That's a great question because a lot of companies are experiencing delays. Even Amazon, the e-commerce giant, has been struggling the past couple of weeks to actually ship very quickly because it's very hard to ship products very quickly if one, your staff is undercut. Like there's a lot of people that, for example, are sick or there's less staff to work and so on. Also, the connections with China, a lot of countries are in lockdown, a lot of planes just can't fly that carry cargo. So there are a lot of things happening. So a good shipping time right now 
Honestly, if you can get a two week shipping time, 18 day shipping time, that is okay. And you'll be surprised. A lot of people are very cool with that. Like I, I can't really believe like one of my students had about a thousand orders pending from China and he sent out an email to a thousand people. Hey, our products are going to be slightly delayed. We're sorry about the inconvenience, da, da, da. But people were cool with it. Uh, he got some refunds. It's okay. It's part of the game. But people are actually okay with that delay because they understand the situation. They understand that the pandemic is hurting a lot of people. So, You know, it's funny. Some people are asking about, uh, guys, I like it's funny. My, my ship times are anywhere between like 9 and 20 days. Like it just depends on the product because I have a few that are doing really well. But when you have a good agent, you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. So even right now, like what we did in my email when they first make a purchase or an order, we let them know like, hey, it's going to take a little bit of a, a little bit of time. We get this specifically crafted and created for you across the pond. It's going to take a little bit of time. And especially with everything going on, like, don't worry. Like, we're going to get your stuff out there. We're going to keep you on tack. Like, the guys, the only thing that people don't what they're trying to avoid is buyer's remorse. Right. They don't want to feel bad for having purchased something and they don't even see it. And then they feel bad and they feel worse and they feel like, oh, my God, I don't know if it. But guys, it's just about constant communication with these people. OK, you let them know, hey, like shipping times maybe is delayed. Please do not hesitate to contact us if you ever feel worried. We're working on your orders. Do not worry. Do not fret. Please work with us. We're going to get this thing to you. You're going to love it. OK, it's just a matter of keeping a communication channel completely open. Uh, exactly. Yes, we're going to learn about Facebook ads. We're, yes, we're going to learn about Facebook and and using Shopify and yes. uh, using all of the uh, for e-commerce. Do not worry about that. Yeah, Facebook ads, guys. If you want to learn about Facebook ads, about traffic, all that, day three is going to teach you absolutely everything about that. So if you are here for day three, which is Wednesday, uh, we will teach you absolutely everything that you need to know to build good ad copy. Like I said, I will build the ad copy for you and do just some crazy stuff. So. If we were talking about all these topics and just one training, we would be here for about 10 hours and we don't want to be here that long. So just. Well, in just, the interest of their time too, like you guys don't want to hear, exactly. be here forever. We're going exactly. to do spread it out throughout the week. One question that someone that came out uh, uh, by two questions, get, get piano lessons questions. If you discover a great product on AudioExpress and you always find a US supplier for it, always is an absolute statement. I don't want to say that, but for the most part, the answer is yes to can they will they be able to see this this video uh, after we are done Raphael? yes uh you will be able to watch it uh they will be available for a whole week so the whole training will be available for the next week and then i will take it out of youtube so if you watch it during the next week then you're cool so we're gonna watch it you can watch it over the next week and guys uh, don't 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 worry guys some people are asking about facebook ads and instagram ads you're gonna learn all of that in the day for traffic or in the day that we talk about ads trust me and and one of the things that you have to remember too like i remember it's like I, t tell me if i'm wrong Raphael. like when i put the list my audience together for the list of buyers and i got a lookalike audience i made a huge mistake bro like i thought i had cut and pasted the copy into my ad and I showed just the video or even just the image of the product and still got sales because it's more important to Facebook will know who the buyers are based on your lookalike audiences of yeah. your buyers. And like, dude, I didn't even have copy and I could not believe that I got sales. It's crazy. You One know? of the students now. Um, yeah. Adding to that, like one student that joined, like uh, they started working with me about a week ago. He had a list of like 200 buyers, 300 buyers. And he, he were talking about lookalike audiences, like what to do about this whole thing and what to do about that data that he already had. And I told him, oh, just launch these audiences, launch, uh, it, I don't want to get too complicated, but like a 1% lookalike audience from your sales that you already had before. And the guy spent $200, made 900, next day spent 400, made like 2000, just crazy results. Like that, that's one thing that you also have to realize guys, the more results you get, the better it gets, especially when you're doing Facebook ads, because lookalike audiences, if you've never heard of them, they're just about using data to get more data or get more sales on Facebook. Now, when lookalike audiences work really well is when you have a lot of sales, a lot of purchases. And when you have a lot of purchases, Facebook goes and finds you other people that are likely to also buy. And those work like magic. Every single student that I tried it on, they do extremely well. Eva, who is one of our best students, she does 25 to 30 grand a month consistently. I went into her ad account. Most audiences were lookalike audiences from purchase, like literally the same thing you were talking about. So, 
Oh, you know what? Victor keeps asking about whether we suggest Facebook ads. I literally just told you guys, we, we, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, or Google, we're going to cover a lot of this stuff, it, the, the exact stuff that you need to know regarding those platforms. It's irregardless, regardless of where, whether it's Google, Instagram, or Facebook, the point is, is that as you build this, you start with one. Like, don't, don't get so bombarded in your head with so many different areas of trying to get traffic. The point is, is if it's good for you, great. Like, go do Google. If it's good for you, do Facebook. Like, don't worry about that. We're going to cover that in the traffic day. Um, because, because let's be honest with ourselves. Like, like there are times when some products may concern the answer to that question is no. What are you, what about you, Raphael? Wait, it's resuming. It stopped again. Sorry, my Wi-Fi is terrible here. <laughs> oh, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> it's restarting. Yeah, it restarted now. Cool. Um, so what was the question? Oh, is it was, there any cities, cities or, or states? State. Yeah, cities or states that we should exclude since products don't reach because of lockdown. Not necessarily, no. Um, there shouldn't be a state or a region that you exclude. The only places that I would exclude are countries that are specifically very affected by the coronavirus and that are fully locked down. So, for example, I wouldn't target Italy. I wouldn't target Spain. I wouldn't target um, places like Czech Republic, where they have maximum lockdown. Like, people can't go outside. They're very hit by the virus. So, I have one student who was selling only to Italy and making a lot of sales in Italy. And he just couldn't sell anymore because his services in Italy got blocked. All the lockdown just affected him. So he had to start selling in the U.S. So U.S. and U.K. and Australia even or Canada should be fine, guys. There, there should not be an issue with, with all of those. And if you want to learn product research, we're going to talk about that tomorrow. So jump on it tomorrow. We're going to talk about everything for an hour and a half or two hours. And yeah, what payment method do you prefer? That's an interesting one because you've dealt with a lot of payment methods, Tony. But I can. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I... sorry. So payment payment methods are you are you are you talking about allowing what payment methods to use for people? Because I, I dude, I've used everything from Stripe to Payment Tech, uh, your own banking payment software, Authorize.net. I mean, guys, I, you know, I, that's kind of a vague question. Um, because really the point is, is you just want to make sure whatever payment method your customer uses needs, they need to be able to have that available so that they pay for product. I mean, that's pretty much it. I don't, I don't, I, it's kind of a vague question, you know? True, true. I would say Stripe and PayPal in the beginning and then scale from yeah. there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, e absolutely. Same yeah, time tomorrow, you, guys. They, they, that's one yes. question that we, I saw a couple times. You guys, we're going to be here at 10 a.m., Eastern time, 10 a.m. Eastern time every single day until the 8th. So please show up. We will see you guys then. Some of some people who wanted to know that information, that's that's it. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Um, if you want to go ahead and take some questions, because it seems that people actually really like you and your personality. So <laughs> you can go. I didn't think that. Okay, will you be live at the same time tomorrow? Yes, guys, we will be live at the same time tomorrow. Let me see if there's any other questions. The winning product, a real thing, or can we make a product a winning product? Is there anything called winning product? Ravi, that is probably the smartest question I've seen today because you, your idea, I know where it's coming from. It is absolutely 100% correct. You can make any product a winner. Like, well, I'm not going to say an absolute, like 100% of products, but like the majority of products. If and when you do the correct product research and that's exactly what we're going to be talking about tomorrow so you get it 100 percent right every single time or at least 99.5 yeah. percent of the time <laughs> yeah there's more than just winning product so when you hear the term winning product yes it can be a winning product a product that's going to sell a lot but the product is not all so you can if you want to let's say learn how to make a product a winner that's definitely possible. We're going to go into that. So it, the product does most times make or break your business because if you have a bad product, you know, you can't just sell water bottles and expect to make money, but you can make a product that doesn't typically sell or people wouldn't typically buy and actually make it a winner so that people start buying it. So if that's a question that you have, yes, you can definitely do that. We'll go into detail into that 
Um, well, and the, the beauty the beauty of it is when you follow the when you follow the formula product like when you follow the formula exactly like we lay it out throughout this week, you can be testing products pretty quickly, right, Rafael? Like, there's no need to yeah. be like, oh my God, I lost hundreds and hundreds or thousands of dollars. It's just a matter of like knowing exactly what product research looks like. Guys, I want you to focus on that. I want you to put on your blinders because tomorrow we're going to be specifically talking about product research and making sure there's nothing else. We're going to cover everything else along the way to make this absolutely work for you. So just make sure you put your blinders on and we're going to focus on product research tomorrow. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Um, okay. Is Shopify, Shopify the most the recommended? Most yeah. Go ahead, go the ahead. recommended platform? Yes. Yes, it is a recommended platform. Um, how many hours a day are you putting into a store? That's an interesting one. How many hours a day do you put into running a business? So in the beginning, it obviously is going to be more. In the As you get through the first two, three weeks, I, I always believe in an automated model, an automated business. So what that means is that you try to either outsource or systemize the things that you spend a lot of time on. So I don't want you to do six hours a day, eight hours a day of customer service. No, 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 just hire a virtual assistant, get that done, get some software, get that done. So yeah, it's honestly, funny. It's it's funny because I think when I first started, man, like I actually put a lot of time into like making sure like it, like if you're doing Google, you'll you'll spend some time waiting for them to, especially now with COVID-19, to get your merchant account going, your ad account set up, making sure that your feed is set up in the right way. Like like there's a lot of things that could could go could could really hold you back for like the first week or two. Right. Because you're just waiting on other things to kind of like add up, including setting up your integrations correctly and all this stuff. Like that's not the stuff that you need to bug down with, because that's the stuff that you can just do and figure it out. OK, like that's just the easy like but one plus one is two the stuff that, that you can't really totally figure out which we're going to go into tomorrow is is picking something so that you know you can stick through it because a lot of people will go for week number one week, week number two and they'll be like oh this is taking way too much like man google's taking forever or face my facebook ads not being like like uh it's not being approved fast enough guys there is time and and know that like for instance for me when i first started i admit it's it's not easy for me to just like i'm a lazy dude I get, I have high energy, right? Like it's sometimes when it's, when it's highly focused, but I'm a super lazy dude. And I'm just like, dude, Google's taking forever. Facebook's taking forever. Like I just, oh, it just frustrates me. But, but even then, even then as I worked through it, it was just a process we had to get done and it eventually paid off. And I think at this point I'm in a process where like we completely automate the entire process in terms of having uh, people who are doing their job. But when I was doing it, when I was actually involved in the process, I was putting in a couple hours a day, right? Just trying to make sure I got the right products, that everything was listed correctly, making sure that we were advertising everything correctly through our feed. I mean, product catalog, et cetera, if you were using Facebook, like there's, there's minute details in that, but that's not anything you need to fear. Because that's the stuff that will completely be answered um, um, at, at, the, at its most fundamental, basic operational that like uh, point, right? Like we're going to talk about how to do the product research, how to get the traffic so that you know that you can test this stuff immediately and quickly without spending a lot of money or very little. And then three, we're going to talk about setting up the store so you don't have to worry about conversion rate optimi optimization or brand building or all this stuff that everyone else is telling you to do on, on Facebook or even on YouTube. Like forget all that stuff. Forget what you know. Open your mind. We're going to freaking kill it in this week. Exactly. This it's it's a week, guys. It's a marathon. It's not a sprint. So if you are willing to stay until the end, you will you'll win. If you if you treat it like a marathon, this is not something that you get results quickly. You see everything. You see the light very quickly, and you start being rich. You got to put in some work, like Jesus or Jesus. I'm assuming his name is. Um, okay. Yeah. Got to put handle? in some work. Absolutely. How do you handle customer service? You either automate it or you softwareize it or you add a software to it. So for for a store that's doing, one of my students, uh, Sonny, I won't say his full name, but he's doing about 10 to 15K a day at this point. So 10 grand, 15 grand a month. He has two assistants working eight hours a day. So if you're doing 10, 15 grand a month, uh, that's that's two assistants working full time. So just just know that. If you're making less than that, then it's probably one assistant. And you always want to be very lean in your business. So if you have, let's say, you're making like $200 a day or $300 a day, 10 grand a month, whatever it is, you want to have as least friction in your business as possible. 
So you don't want to hire five virtual assistants and then they're working like one hour a day, two hours a day, and they're all getting communication problems. You just want to have one that absolutely kills it and does everything for you. So. Yeah, dude, get piano lessons. You're, you, dude, we have we have a couple of experts in here, man, that are looking at like I have a feeling we have some people in here. Even you might even some of you might even be YouTubers who are e-commerce guys that are watching us right now. But I have a feeling that like we got a couple of folks that have had a little bit of training in this stuff before. And uh, like to answer your question about your bank going crazy, not so that to make sure that your bank doesn't think that you've gone crazy spending all this money, you could just call them up. Like I know that when I had, when I ran everything through my business card, which was which with American Express, like I had to call American Express and be like, hey, like don't freak out. Like I kept getting these fraud notifications or whatever. Like, hey, are you spending this money? Is that you? <laughs> And you just gotta call them. It's all about communication. Like, don't. That, that's like the least of your worries. You know, just call them up. Just tell them up. Tell them what's up. It's true. They understand. You're, you're, They've worked with e-commerce business, bro. <laughs> your your credit card will fail a few times. So what you need to do is you need to create a business account with your bank, and then you need to tell them what spending limit to set to your account. So my spending, well, I'm not going to say my spending limit right now in case I ever get my card stolen, but, <laughs> right. but it's pretty high so that if my bank sees a very high spend, then it's normal. But I also have the qualified sources of that spend. So if the spend is like $10,000, but it comes from American Airlines like, or, or like somebody buying whatever, then that's definitely not me. So the bank knows that. So the only places that I spend a lot of money on are... AliExpress, Alibaba, and another shipping uh, source from China, Facebook, and Google. So those five traffic sources or five uh, payment sources, if they come from any of those, then you should be fine. So. We got we got a couple questions that are really absolute questions, guys. Like there's like if you say, will every shipment absolutely work 100 percent, 110 percent of the time if it comes from the United States? Dude, I can't answer that and say with good conscience, say yes. Like, you're gonna have issues. You're gonna have to work through them. But look, let me let me just put put this out there. There's three problems in e-commerce. Three problems. Anybody want to take a guess at what those problems are? What are the biggest problems in e-commerce that you can't just go out and find the answer to? The three biggest problems. Like you might have people saying stuff out there that they're not telling you everything like we are going to be, like we're doing. Because we want to get them pissed off. We want to piss off some gurus. Aren't, isn't that right, Raphael? We want to piss some yeah. of these guys off. One, the biggest problem is how to find a product that you know is going to make it right. The next one is the traffic part. Guys, we are going to take we'll talk about traffic. You asked a lot about different ads. Trust me, we're going to cover this stuff. It's going to be amazing. And then three... The third part is the store itself and what is actually going to get you buying conversions, turning visitors into customers from the get go. Like, do not worry about that. Like I, some of these questions are to me, I'm just like, ah, oh, guys, you're asking, like you're asking the things that you just, you can work out on your own, I think. Yeah. And students oh, yeah. or anybody that if your question was not answered and it's very urgent, uh, please repost it because I, I mean, there's a lot of, there's many comments here, so it's pretty hard to go through all of them. But. You know, it's funny people, people like when something bad happens to you, like I know Facebook bat, like at bat, like bans accounts sometimes, man, that's why like once you get something that's working, like this is more of a strategical thing. Like you, you have to focus on making sure you never just have one source of traffic, right? There's sure. organic sources of traffic that you can take advantage of, but that's besides the point. Like, I think if we talk about one, you got to focus on one. Once you get that working, you got to jump on, on, on one that you think you can make work as well. But don't limit yourself, and that's and, and Facebook bans. Like I've had my my Facebook account ads ad accounts banned in the past, but I talk with them, I call them up, I figure out a way to figure out what's going on, right? And if that doesn't work, like I move on to the next to, to creating another account. And if my entire account, I, I never had this happen, but if my entire account was gone, I go back to the basics. I go back to the product, to the traffic, and to the store, and I make sure that I find a way to get people to that store because it's converting. That's exactly. the beauty of it. I don't want you to have to depend on anything, anything outside of your store and, 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 and your product. And the traffic is the only thing that you really might want worry about. But that's out there. You just go out there and buy it. I'm not like I'm not going to go to the store and say, hey, can I get some rice seeds so that I can plant <laughs> my own rice in my own field or in my backyard and then wait like two months so that I can get rice. You don't go. You don't go and like, hey, I want rice. And then you say, hmm, how do I get rice? I'm going to go plant it. 
and then get a bunch of rice. You don't do that. You go to the store and you go to the grocery store and what do you do? You buy the rice, right? Traffic is the exact same way, guys. Traffic is everywhere, everywhere to be found. You don't go, like, unless you want to take forever to get rice, you can go do things like SEO, like go build a blog exactly. on your e-commerce store, right? But that takes exactly. way too long and there's rice out there to be purchased. So just... Just don't worry about that stuff. We're gonna cover some of the basics. Obviously, we can't get like to to, to like the, the minute details of stuff because that's just stuff that you can go out there and learn. You can find it on YouTube for God, for goodness sake, right? So don't worry about that. We're gonna cover some of this stuff. I, I'm sorry. I, I I sometimes I go overboard, Raphael. Man, I, I'm so sorry, dude. No worries. Uh, fulfillment means you have to buy products prior to selling them. How can I do that? Well, not necessarily. So fulfillment just means fulfill, which means to to complete, to cover something. So fulfillment is either shipping from China directly to your customer or shipping to the US, keeping it in the US and then shipping it to your customer. So if, if you wanna do the whole ship from China, send to the customer, then that's a, an agent, which you can find how I showed you. Or if you wanna use a US based supplier to do that, Google ship Bob, ship Bob. That's, it's the most legit company out there. So if you want to know how to store in the U.S., just put ship up. And uh, PayPal holds. What about <laughs> PayPal holds? Yeah, PayPal holds. Uh, it's a pretty tough one. So what I suggest you do, one of my students, Ryan, for example, had $25,000 held on PayPal for about a month. So even people that are really scaling up, really crushing it, they still have this issue of having uh, money held on PayPal. So what you need to do is one, you need to get them on this phone as, as fast as possible. Is just talk to somebody on the phone. Second of all, is you need to upload all your tracking information for the orders that they ask you. So a lot of people, what they do is PayPal will ask them for order information and they'll ignore it. They'll think, ah, I don't need to do that. And it's like, no, why are you ignoring this? You need to upload all the information they ask you. If they ask you for tracking numbers, upload tracking numbers. And if you get any chargebacks, you need to fight them as fast as possible. So any disputes, any chargebacks you get, immediately fight them. And eventually, once you have enough history with PayPal, the problem that a lot of people do is they go and get a new PayPal account, and then they start making like $10,000 a day. And then they're like, oh, why is my PayPal held? Well, obviously, PayPal is risking their reputation by allowing somebody that's making like 10, 20 grand a day, that might be a scam. They might be ripping off customers. They might be not selling anything. So they're putting their reputation on the line. So if you are scaling up very quickly, take it easy. If you're using PayPal, go easy. 500 a day, 1K per day, 2K per day, 5K per day, easy. So that it's not a huge yeah. issue. Yeah, it's, it's, it's more of a scheduling, a, like a scaling, a scale that you follow. You don't just immediately pop up and go and, and try to spend a lot of money because PayPal will do that kind of stuff to you. One of the questions that I thought was really interesting is some of you guys are interested in how to open a non-US opening an LLC in the US. Please look, there, there are people, there's agents that at least I've worked with, Rafael, I don't know if you have some people, but I've worked with people who had opened up uh, account uh, LLCs in Wyoming because yeah. if you're a foreigner without actual, if Raphael covers that stuff, do you cover that? A lot of that stuff in your in your program? Uh, well, it depends on where you're from, but I I can't again I can't get legal advice. So yeah, I think if, it's better to give like a legal agent specifically that you can talk to about that. I think the the basic information that I I know that I've seen work is you can go and and open up an LLC in the U.S. as a foreigner, but you've got to talk to a specific agent. We have that information. I think I think I might even be able to 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 add to that list as well. And Do go you, to go to Stripe Atlas. I just posted it. Go oh to Stripe yes, Atlas. And what Atlas does, it, it costs you money. It's like five hundred bucks. But what you can do is you can set up a U.S. company and set up an S corp. And then you get an automatic Stripe account connected to that company. So it's kind yeah. of like being a U.S. citizen and setting up a company, but more expensive and a little bit harder because you are from like I know a lot of people from India. They do this. A lot of people from uh, Eastern European countries. They love to do this because there's no payment methods available. But yeah, that's what I would say. Cool, man. I think we are. I'm, I mean, at least yeah. for me, I'm We've running up against hour, the market yeah. scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we, we've been an hour and 40 minutes, so we can Arnav, just continue. Ar I was going to, sorry, sorry. Yeah, we'll just continue, brother. I, I, Arnav, you asked a question, bro. I thought I answered it. U.S. shipping and AliExpress suppliers, are they legit? Luke, we can't talk about suppliers. We have our own. We have people that we trust. 
but like we can't say that 100% of all the people on there who are US suppliers are legit. Like I can't I can't tell you that. That's just not something that like anybody who tells you that yes they're legit is is, is probably a salesperson for AliExpress or, or you know what I'm saying? Like it's a representative. Like I can't tell you that, dude. Um, yeah, and and people that are saying oh uh, PayPal sucks. I don't use PayPal. Uh, you can also Google a company. It's called NMI. So Norman Marcus Indigo NMI and NMI what they basically do is I can explain it better but it's a payment processor connected to a payment gateway so Shopify is just a, a random payment gateway what you want to do is connect a processor and that's what NMI does so go ahead Shay Shay Shayan Deep is asking Shayan Deep you asked if we've tried selling products with oh, Facebook yeah. ads using digital products. Dude, the, this is the beautiful part of this. I wish I would have started with e-commerce because in e-commerce, when you know exactly step by step by step how to run your ads, you can literally use the exact same thing on product, like digital products. Easy. Like if it wasn't for the e-commerce training I got with Raphael and solidifying my e-commerce, my, my advertising like strategy, dude, it, it would not... It, I just I, I feel like that's one of the biggest takeaways I got from working with you, Raphael, is the advertising portion of it. And you guys can go see his, his Facebook ads uh, videos on YouTube easily. Yeah, actually, if you're interested in doing Facebook ads and you are a little bit, you don't really know what to do. I literally posted last Friday a one hour Facebook ads course. So we will talk about it on Wednesday in detail here live. But if you want to go into more detail into my strategies, there's literally a free course. So like I said, and some people are kind of complaining and then other people immediately shoot them down. So I love that there's there's really motivated people on here that, yeah. Yeah, that awesome, dude. No, that's great. And you know what? Someone's asking about about white, la white product, uh, sorry, not white labeling, uh, private label. Like a lot of you guys who are talking about your own product, branding it and selling it, dude, you got to get the basics first. If you can't get the most principal basic stuff down, the product, the store, and the traffic, you're not gonna, you're not going to make it even with your brand, like off the bat. Like stop, stop for a second. If you've never done, if you've done it successfully, e-commerce successfully, fine. Go and pro do private label. Uh, Raphael has a lot of experience specifically yeah. doing that. But I would say if you're trying to start there, you're, you're, you, yeah, don't, guy, dude, get into the e-commerce, get the basics down first. Once you have the basics, you can go ahead and do that. Yeah, and private labeling is, uh, it takes a lot of time to explain, and it's very you can do it a lot of different ways. We can go into it on day five. So day five, I'm gonna go really deep into your questions and just answer everything for like two hours. And Tony, if you wanna be here as well on day five, obviously, uh, do you send us for customer service? Yes, yes. And I wanna hear what Rafael has to say, say about what, I don't know what he was saying. <laughs> I hear he what he has he, to say. He said, he, what he's saying is, I don't like Tony talking. Can you tell Tony to shut up so Raphael <laughs> can talk? I'm, I'm, I'll let you talk, bro. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. Uh, no, I know, I know. I'm, I'm just, it's, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm reading between the lines. Maybe this has gone, maybe this has gone too long. You guys need a break. I think you guys need a break. We'll talk tomorrow. We can do that. Guys, if you spam, I'm gonna hide you. So I'm gonna just hide all your comments. But best ads for a newbie. Uh, it, that that's a question I can't answer. What do you mean best ads for a newbie? So Facebook ads definitely for newbies are great, but you just can't answer. You just can't ask random questions like, how do I make money? Well, okay. So <laughs> like if you ask random questions, you spam is going to hide you. So, so guys, we've been here an hour and 45 minutes. We're meant to be an hour, an hour and 30 minutes. So this is just day one. This is the orientation. This is the introduction. We haven't even covered the meat stuff the nitty gritty stuff. So we're going to be day two about products, day three about the store. No, sorry, day three about traffic. Day one about products, day two, let me go, let me go through this again. Day two, which is tomorrow, Tuesday, we're going to do products, all about winning products. Day three, which is Wednesday, we're going to go all about the traffic, Facebook ads, Google ads, everything like that. And day four, which is Thursday, we're going to go into store, improving your store, improving your conversion rates, getting more sales, more profits, and then we're going to do Q&A. So, yeah, uh, be here every single day, 10 a.m. Eastern time. That is 4 p.m. Europe time. 
If you are in Asia, that is like 9 p.m. your time, so just be there. And if you can't because you're working or something, there will be it will be recorded, but it's better if you show up live. Yes, because we're going to be able to get some to some of these questions, guys. Show up, it, like if you're committed, if you're ready to learn the product research process, everything that you need to learn about products so we can solve that problem, let me know in the comments. And with that, thank you so much for being here. I like doing what Rafael does. I like doing this. Namaste. And then, and then say thank you for being guys. Like, like seriously, without thank you guys you. being here, it, this would suck. So we're so grateful to have you and we cannot wait to go into product, uh, product specifically tomorrow. Awesome. Then I will see you guys then. Thank you, Tony, for being on here. And may the fourth be with you guys. May the fourth be with you.